Hi there, this is Yuani again from Saya Suji Kimono and today I wanted to show you four different assembles and how to make the Oa Shori. One that is the perfect length, one that is 10 cm smaller, one that is 15 and one that is 20. I am aware that this is going to be a bit of long of a video but I want to show you in depth how I do this. So let's go! So first I'm going to show you how to make an Oashore with a perfect length kimono. You want to take your Koshihimo after you arranged the bottom part of your kimono and you search for your waist basically, where it is. Mine is around here, so what I do now is place the Koshihimo there, cross them in the back again and tie now this is the tricky part first of all I pull down the back and then the front I grab this one Go inside with my hand and pull all the way down from one end to the other. Again, with both hands on this side also. Normally, you should have arranged the collar afterwards, but I'm going to tie the Koshihimo. Just for now. Again, pull it all down, and you should have a nice big Oashori. Just flatten it. Okay, on to the next. Okay, the second kimono. This one. For me, it's 170 centimeters, which is 10 centimeters smaller than I am myself. Again, take your hemo. This time, we're going to place it a little bit lower than the waist. So my hip is here, and my waist waist is here. So I'm just going to tie it in the middle. Again, first the back, then the front, the sides, again just pull it all tight. I usually put pull all the, all everything down after every step basically. So here you go. And now on to the third. Alright, so here's the third kimono. Again, take your himo. But now we're going to do it a little bit different. Again, place this one just above the hips. What you want to do now is not cross it horizontally, but slightly diagonal. The reason why I do this is because most of the times there will be a diagonal Oashori caused by the extra amount of fabric on your left side. 
And what this will do is basically having more fabric on this side and less fabric on this side. Which goes from this makes it this. Again, first at the back and then the front. You can have a bit of wrinkles here, but I just pull it up slightly. And if you're a bit unsure, you can always just really pull it all down. Then you tie it off. As you can see now, I have a bit of wrinkling here. I just pull it down. I'm going to go on all these. This is usually the biggest OHOE I can get out of it. But as you see, it's quite even now. And there you have it. And now, on to the last. Alright, this is the final one. This kimono is 160 centimeters, and this is a little bit of a cheat of mine. I'm not using any regular koshihimo, but an unused shoelace that is 2 meters long. It just allows more fabric to be going into the oashoi without compromising. This one goes directly on the hips. On the back, on the front again, tie it off, this is one, this one is a little bit longer, so I use it, pull it in a bow, as you can see it's just quite small, and just allows more fabric otherwise I wouldn't be able to wear this kind of kimono at least this length again smooth it all out just make the hand the back go all smooth I usually find that it's going to wrinkle around here. What I usually do is just pull the end of the collar and here the side seams. Before I so and this is all I'm going to get. If I would have used a regular Koshi Himo, I wouldn't be able to get fab any fabric into the Oashoe at all. So this is why I cheat a bit and use this. I'm just quickly going to rearrange my colors. The next video will be about the kimono colors so don't worry about that I will show you just quickly again for the final time I pull it all down the smaller the kimono for me the more often I pull it all down just to keep it nice and smooth okay that was the final kimono Okay, so there you have it. This is how I make the Oashore in basically every length of kimono that I have. With a little bit of cheesing, I have to admit that, but hey, it works for me. So I hope you enjoyed it and can use some of these tricks. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye bye.